Okay, so as it turns out, the faucet's leaking. Well, not the faucet, but the uh, compression fitting on the hot water side is leaking where it's connected to the faucet. And originally I had the leak was on the cold water side. Now the hot water side's leaking after I removed and replaced the, uh, the faucet. So um, essentially what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be replacing it with, uh, with this product as I explained. I had, I had this as a backup and I'll tell you what, if I hadn't been really paying close attention to that faucet, I probably wouldn't even noticed that it is leaking. And I think that's, you know, I think that tells a story of how fragile those connectors are. So hopefully these other connectors are an improvement. So on this one, what I have apparently is, um, this is a half inch in PSM out and that should connect perfectly with the kitchen faucet that I have. Essentially, um, what they're measuring is uh, this uh, this thread here, this half inch thread size, where it threads, this is the old faucet here, where it threads to that. So that's that half inch measurement. And then there's an inside diameter um, where this little white plastic piece that little white plastic piece goes and it snugs up in there and that's where the, you get that, uh, that compression fitting. So this is going on. This is what the bag looks like. And in order to um, attach that, I'm gonna have to cut that PEX line. So I have this. And essentially it's just the inexpensive uh, PEX tube cutter. So this is supposed to work for half inch up to an inch. Um, I don't want to cut too far away from the faucet, meaning I don't want to cut too much of the PEX line out, but this is a rather long, uh, lead here. I'm talking, uh, that's 20 inches. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to get access to these lines, meaning I want to be able to kind of flex the line into a position where I can easily cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the, um, by twisting the little nylon nuts here, disconnect those PEX connections from the kitchen faucet. I had the faucet valves open to drain any pressure out. I was able to get those off. I have my trusty cereal bowl to catch the water. And now that I'm looking at the uh, at the distance I have, so those faucets there, they have a good bend to them. And what I think I'm going to be doing is, uh, I think I'm going to cut more than I anticipated. Um, it's not really what I want to do, but I'm going to cut a longer length of that PEX line. So I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, this little panel here. The, the sealant's already cracked, so I'm just going to move that out of the way and get to cutting. All right, so I removed the panel, and it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. You can see there's some silicone there and also some silicone on the base of the cabinet. So I'll clean that up and then I'll reseal it later after the, everything's checked out okay. The other thing I removed were these little uh, tension relief brackets here for the where the PEX turns the corner. I'm going to be removing that angle so that the right angle of the valve will line up at a right angle to the PEX. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm probably going to stagger. So I'm not going to cut both PEX lines perfectly level. I'll do one a little bit above the other. And that's just so I don't have them bunched up against each other. And um, the other thing I've done is I didn't torque it down, but I went ahead and attached the line. So now I can get a measurement to where I might be able to attach each of the lines. I don't want too small of a radius on any of the lines, so I want to make sure there's enough room for them to sit there naturally. 
And then, so the next step will be uh, cutting it. I went ahead and I cut, and probably about, I don't know, maybe a foot, 10 inches of the PEX off. And then you can see the connector here. And that's, that's the uh, inside of the connector there. This is where I cut it. And I don't know if I like how it was cut. So I'm going to do another little practice run here uh, with you guys. So as you can see, there's a little, uh, I don't know, little hangnail there. And so I'm going to guess that that also happened on the, uh, on the line that I'm going to be using, the one that's attached to the travel trailer. This tool here has little arrows on it, and essentially what I'm doing is I'm just following the instructions, and the instructions say to rotate it in the direction of the arrows. So you can see this arrow and that arrow. So there's a specific way they want you to turn it. And essentially you just clamp it on there, get it at a right angle, and then you rotate the uh, You can see how it's, if you don't do it straight, then you're going to have that little, that little uh, edge there. Now I, now I know why there's a, a Pro Tool version of this. So with this angle, it's going to be tough, but let's see if I can get another practice shot. So that one was pretty clean. There's also a deburring tool, and I don't have that, so that's why I want to make sure I get this correct. All right, so the second time around that I used the cutting tool, I was a lot more successful. But I used all of the slack that was afforded to me when I removed that extra panel and whatnot. So I really, it took a lot to get in there and, and use the tool appropriately. So the instructions illustrate that there's a specific depth that you need to insert this fitting here. And essentially, you just push it in, and then that's, that's it. It's connected. There's this uh, little sleeve, and you can put that in after the fact. Okay, well, I have the connections on. I pressed them onto the PEX uh, tubing. And what I did was I just used my cereal bowl here to purge the air out. There they're connected. And you can see the, the valves are in the closed position. This is pressurized. I have the I have the pump on. I can look at them here. I, I mean they're dry. They're dry as can be. I can feel the warmth on on uh, this one here. So uh it looks like mission accomplished here. I just got to reconnect the uh, the fittings here to the sink, and uh, I don't know. I guess time will tell. Hopefully this is a good solution, because what I want to do is I want to attach the kitchen faucet here uh, that came with the with the trailer. I want to put that on the uh, on the bathroom sink. So I'm going to use these these shark bite lines, but I'm going to test it out first. And, uh, but at any rate, I'm going to consider this, uh, I'm going to consider this complete. And thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it.